Hi guys. Well, last night we got to go out uh, to a meetup with Our Village. Uh, Our Village is a social online um, group, much like Facebook is, except uh, it's for and primarily for RVers uh, to connect and socialize and um, meet up. So last night was the a meetup, and it was actually created by the founder of our village, uh, Curtis. We're going to get a chance to talk to him. We got to meet some other our villagers out there, and we'll uh, say hi to them. Let them say hi, and uh, we had a great time. It was great talking with Curtis. We got some one-on-one -on -one time with him. Um, he's a fellow RVer. He's passionate about our village, and. Uh, it was really a fun time. So with that said, here we go. We are at the Quartzsite Yacht Club, coming for an Our Village get-together. Figured I would do an intro video real quick. I don't know what kind of music they're going to have inside of here, so if there's music, I won't be able to play much. Yeah. We'll see. that we had been here so we weren't quite sure where we were going. It was a nice place, had a pretty good crowd there and later we'd find out the beer was uh, uh, pretty cheap. Uh, we did find the group back here on the back patio and when we got here Curtis, the founder, was giving uh, kind of a question and answer. Later we'd track down Curtis and see if we couldn't talk to him for a little bit. Before that, we wanted to talk to some of the other RV, our villagers here and just kind of get a feel for our village and their experience. See your escapers? Yes. Yeah, yeah. So, you, uh, your YouTube name? Landmark Adventures. Landmark Adventures, yeah. all right. I think and maybe Cheryl and David's Landmark Adventures were that on one of the platforms. I can't remember which one. Uh, I got gotcha. you. Uh, I got gotcha. you. And we were over by the Escaper Group yesterday. Oh, we yeah. went. We met at uh, Kyle and Olivia. Yeah. We driving and vibing. Yeah. We met them. Live drive. Yeah, and and we tried to get in on your community day over there, but we couldn't find you. As you're, it was so spread out, yeah. and we we went all around there. But so you guys had a pretty good turnout over there. We, we did. I haven't heard what the final count was, but there were 400 people registered. Thank you. Right. Um, I heard early in the week we had 120 registered. Wow, yeah, and it looked like a good trip. more people have showed up. It's probably around 150. That's awesome. Uh, and our village story, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, uh, we met a couple on our way up to Alaska that we ended up traveling. Yeah. We met them for our village. Oh, that's perfect. We, we checked into an RV park, and they saw us in the same RV park, and they, uh, you know, connected, sent a message and said, you know, would you like to get together for dinner? And it took us a couple cities, but we finally did catch up with them. That's and then terrific. we ended up traveling with them for about a month. Oh know? my gosh, that's and awesome. And we stayed really good friends. Yeah, so. yeah. Well, thank you guys so much. It was great meeting you. All right. and nice meeting you, Cheryl. Hi, guys. I'm going to jump in here real quick. Sure. Do you, does anybody mind being filmed and being put on YouTube? Are you guys okay with that? Uh, okay. <laughs> that's all right. Well, I, my name's Louise Turner, but I'm Weaver. I'm also a head of the Okay. Forum. You won't find me there. You'll find me everywhere else. Right. But, um, right. I've been with it since it started. Okay. And just love it. Nice, oh, nice. Now, how long have you been on the road? I've been on the road five years. Wow, good for you. I'm a solo RV -er. Okay, okay. And uh, I started with not even knowing what an RV 
much really was. <laughs> I just had one built, got in it, and started driving. Good for you. Good for you. So I said, hey, I'm going to... Oh, Canada. my God. Yeah. yeah. And so what's, you, what's been your experience now? I, I love it. Yeah, love yeah. It. Good for you. Good for you. Now, how long have you been out now? Just look at things over. She joined me uh, just to just, come here. Just Sunday. to come here, yeah. So oh, great. I'll be driving her back. But I, so I just asked her, I said, okay, now that you've been out here, do you... You don't want to do this, right? And she goes, uh, yes, I do. Good for you. Yeah, if I had the money, I'd buy one at the big top. Yeah. Sure, but you know what? Go start somewhere and, and just go from there. So, well, nice meeting you guys. Very good. What's your name? David. David. And what's your on on our village? Do you have a your, your uh, name on there? David Vicky. We're a couple. Dave and Vicky, okay, yeah. yeah. I want to make it easy for people to find me. Oh, that's perfect, that's perfect. So, how long have you been on Art Village? Oh, uh, like, from the beginning. Is that right? Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, I think there might have been a thousand people on it at the time okay. I signed up. Good deal. Are you uh, a full-timer? Yeah. Okay, how long full-timing? Eight years. Eight years, good. And now, you've obviously probably been to Quartzite before. Yeah, probably about six years. Good for you. Good for you. So this is just something you do every year. Well, you know, I'm a member of the Escapees Boomer BOF. Okay, and, good. And uh, we we have a, a gathering here uh, every January. Now, was that the group that was up above RTR this yeah, year? That's yeah, us. and yeah. we're at RTR. We yeah. went over the RTR. Yeah, we, yeah, we remember when RTR was just like 200, 200 people, people yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly back when you could talk to bob right yeah <laughs> now you can't get anywhere near him so well it was nice meeting you i just want to put something simple out on onto the channel and and get some uh get some airplay for our village and, okay. and say something so uh, all right so who's going on to our village it's our it's channel, no uh our endeavor and our endeavor yeah Is yeah that like all your ever endeavor What's that? Yeah, yeah, holiday yeah. ramble. That's, that's it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, and cool. name? John and Terry. John and Terry. Okay. And then she has another account. Just says she mad. Okay. Okay. And she she, she mad? She mad. She mad. So, John, you're obviously confused and upside down a little bit. Upside John. Upside, upside John. John. <laughs> upside John. <laughs> Now, are you guys full timers? No. Okay, so you We're come out about nine months out of the year. Nine months out of the year, and you come out here from where are you from? New York. New York. Well, that's a long trip. Well, we left in September. We'll get back there in May. Good for you guys. Good for you guys. And then you work the rest of the year. Like what? three, what? three months? What? No, what? no. So you don't full time, but you, but you're in nine months out of the year. That's pretty. Because she don't want to get rid of the house yet. I gotcha. I gotcha. It's gonna take me another two years at this rate to get empty it out. <laughs> Good for you. Good for Nobody you. Nobody want to buy all the tools I got. All right, right. Now, how many years coming to courtside? This is our first time. First time. Okay. I've been hearing about it for years, and since we're out here because this trip is more out west because we did the balloon fiesta in Albuquerque. Right, mm -hmm. right. And what else? The Rose Parade. The Rose Bowl Parade. Oh, fun. fun. So we got to spend Christmas with the grandkids. Good, good. You know, so okay. it works out. Awesome. Yeah. So we're hanging out here where it's warm. Yeah, yeah. Instead yes. of going to Florida, it's freezing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. So we've heard it. doesn't make sense, right? <laughs> right. Well, good meeting you guys. And, and thanks for letting us say hi. It looks like everybody ran off before we got a chance. It was supposed to go to 7, I think. But we... It was supposed to, yeah. A lot of people showed up early. They ate. Yeah. People had done eating. They get up and leave. And they leave. Yeah, yeah. And half of them would be in bed by 7. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> so I was able to track down Curtis, who was an awfully busy person during these functions and ask him for a little bit of time to talk about our village. Hey Dave. How are you doing? Good, good to meet you. Good, yeah. Can I get a few minutes with you or just a yeah, minute? Yeah, absolutely. I'll put some. So, good turnout tonight. Yeah, a lot of people came. Which yeah, was great. yeah. What, uh, so what is our village? And uh, what, where can people find you? So Our Village is a website that is a way for RVers to be able to connect with each other as they travel. Right. 
right? So the, everything we develop for the website enables people to be able to find each other. The reason that make new friends when they're traveling, it's really hard to meet people when you're in places for short periods of time. You know, you decide to go to New Orleans and you're there for three days and you have a beignet and you go down Bourbon Street and then you're done and you go somewhere else. Before you know it, a few months have gone by and you haven't met anybody or you haven't really hung out. And at the end of every journey, whether it's an RV journey or a trip or a vacation, when people sit and talk about their trip or their that it was the year in the coach or the, or that they're the snowbirds, it always comes down to the people they met. You know, they'll say, "Yeah, wasn't that wonderful going to Niagara Falls?" But it wasn't about Niagara Falls. It was like, "Oh, and that couple that we met and had that went and traveled with them for a few days, and so glad that we met them." Or when we went and visited, you know. Uh, my sister and her family and spent a week there. It was always about the people. And that's important because human interaction is the most stimulating part of being alive. It's more stimulating than a, as I say, than a good cup of coffee, right? It's, um, it's why we're here. Right? And it's why we get married, it's why we have relationships, join a church, a lot of people join partially for religion, but for the community. It's why our beers go to rallies. It's not for the tank deodorant, you know, that they can buy or the discount. It's to be able to meet people and connect. So we built a platform online where people can do that anywhere they want. They just set their location. They uh, say, I'm here in Quartzsite. And when they do that, it sends out a notification to anybody within 20 miles. It says someone new just arrived in your area. And then other people see that and they click it. And then you have your profile and you have things about you and that sort of thing. And then people welcome you. They say, hey, welcome to the neighborhood. Now, is there a cost to our No. Our so village? our village is a free platform. We believe in the, uh, in the Google, Facebook uh, model of uh, no barrier for access. You know, Google's model is that you shouldn't have to pay for information. Right, you should be able to have access to anything in the world at your fingertips. We do in our village have different level of membership. So if you become a gold level member, then uh, you pay a twenty-five dollar fee for life, and then now you have a button that says gold. And when you click it, there are companies that want to offer discounts for things like tire pressure monitors or club membership to FMCA or Scapies or something like that. Right, and you can get those there. And we are going to be having another level of membership, which will bring a completely ad-free site. But we always want there to be a free site that is available for people. Now, that doesn't mean that they're going to go on and they're going to get pop-ups and things to buy things. But all the ads are nicely placed, and so anybody can use the platform to be able to connect with each other in the same way, whether they're paying for it or not. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. Now I, I heard tonight, you know, you're really good about uh, hearing the not only the good side of it, but if there's complaints, and I've noticed um, you guys are really good about let's see what we can do about tackling those complaints. Let's see what we can do. Some sometimes yep. it may be something simple and sometimes it's a little more complicated. But So we take our cues from uh, from other websites that we like that are successful. The customer service on our village is extraordinary. We have a help button, we have live chat, we have uh, support so that people can ask questions, and we've got our, our how-to guide for every single page, it has a button that says how-to guide, and if you're on a group page, for instance, you click the how-to guide, it'll give you all the information of how to operate that page that you're on. So we've spent a lot of time and consideration because we do understand the demographic of our viewers, and a lot of them are older, and we've invented technology for people that may not be used to using it, especially on their phones, and that sort of thing. So, um, uh, so we're very keen to that, and we know that our success will be dictated by how well we're able to help people. Well, I think that is terrific. We just want to keep it real simple, and we'll put something up on the on the uh, on the channel. Our, now, is there a dot .com? Is it, yeah, you it's rvillage.com. Rvillage.com. Go there. It, okay. uh, uh, it's a safe platform. We don't sell your data, right? So we don't ask. There's a couple of things uh, that I want to talk about. We don't ask for anybody's 
personally identifiable information, right? So we're never going to ask you for your, when you're creating your profile, your address or your phone number or your social security number. You already ate Yeah, we don't, we just don't ask those tests. It's more like, what age group are you in? Are you a full-time or a part-time? Right. right. You don't even have to use your real name. You can have a screen name, you know, vagabonds on the road or whatever. Right. Thanks, guys. Sure, thank you so oh, much. It was really meeting wonderful you. meeting you. Oh, and, uh, we're, we are new. Are to, we friends on our uh, I, I, We may be. We, we may be. We stayed for another 20 or 30 minutes talking to Curtis, and he went on to show us how the app worked, and uh, he is truly passionate about his uh, site. Uh, our village is his love. He is an, uh, an active and uh, very much a full-time RVer. He, uh, he just loves the RV lifestyle and it is his goal to uh, help everybody out to try to connect in that social uh, aspect. So we want to thank Curtis. He was awesome. It was awesome meeting him and uh, we sure hope that we'll connect later on down the road. And for now, that's going to wrap this video up. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you've found some interest. If you have questions or uh, ideas, uh, comments, put those down in the comment lines below. Uh, and by all means, everybody have a safe trip. It's really nice meeting everybody, and we'll see you later. Take care. Oh, sweet girl.